Taiwan, located in Eastern Asia, is a beautiful island in the northwestern Pacific Ocean. The towering central mountain range, ghostly villages and cities line at its foot. Most inhabitants live in the areas not too far away from the coast. Crucial current flows along seas in the Pacific Ocean. Taiwan Strait on its west is where cold and warm currents meet. All that provides the diverse ecological environment and rich ocean resources, which are favorable to fisheries development. Among Taiwan's population of 23 million people, about 320,000 people engage in fishery, which includes aquaculture, coastal and offshore fisheries, this and water fisheries. There are about 40,000 hectares of aquaculture area. Number of vessels has reached 20,000, with years of people's hard work and with policies driven by the government. Fishery has become an important industry. It allows people to have a stable source of animal protein and to make a living, which promotes social stability. Total fish production now is about 1 million tons, with a total production value of 90 billion NT dollars in which coastal and offshore fisheries make up 17%. Distant water fishery makes up 44%. Aqua farming makes up 39%. Making Taiwan one of the important fishery countries in the world. In Taiwan, Council of Agriculture is the decision-making authority for fishery policies and fisheries agency is the highest administrative agency and responsible for policy planning. In each local government, there are fishery departments for management and outreach. As for fishermen's organization, there are one national and other 39 fishermen's associations in 22 places. Under the council, there is a fisheries research institute with six branches. Besides in Jinmen and other three local governments, there are also fisheries research centers. As for education, 10 universities and 9 vocational schools have related departments to nurture potential new blood for Taiwan's fisheries. The agency builds a deep-sea fishery research center, undertaking safety training for fishing crews works with educational organizations, provides capacity building training for crew officers to improve overall quality of fishery and maritime safety. In addition, under fishery agency, there is a fishery radio station, aiming at fishery development, dissemination of related news, providing service to all fishermen. There are various landforms along the coastline of Taiwan, in development of fisheries, the government has constructed more than 200 fishing ports on the main island and other offshore islands. Their locations and geographic environments vary. Each port has different fishery and function. Most fishermen operate within the exclusive economic zone of the country by trawling, gill netting, long lining, hook and line, pot fishing, stick out thin net, Taiwanese seining, harpooning, and set net fishing. In order to catch various kinds of fish and demersal species like shrimps, crabs, shellfish, and snails, they serve as fresh seafood for local consumers, and some can be made into sea products. For export to global markets, such as mullet roll, sakura shrimp, fish floss, canned seafood, and other sea products. All of these are best choices for gifts. Ecological damages from human 
impact habitats and fishery resources, causing the decline of catch in recent years. Therefore, action must be taken to preserve fishery resources. We've established conservation areas at proper locations, launch artificial reefs, cultivated and released seas of fish, shellfish, and corals. We've also started Ocean Day campaign, beach cleaning, and educational propaganda, helped organize marine environment protection fleets for cleaning marine debris and protecting the environment of habitats. Furthermore, areas are restricted for certain fishing gears and methods, closed fishing seasons, incentives for voluntary fishing layoffs, and vessel buyback program are implemented to downsize the total catch and fishing fleet. In addition, recreational fishery has been promoted. Guidance has been provided to fishermen for shifting to business like sea experiencing and ecotourism. Based on current infrastructure of fishing ports, diversified recreational and travel spaces have been constructed to improve the environment, promote local cultures, and revive the economy of fishing communities. With the development of Taiwan's fishery in the past century, the technique and scale had become matured. With the need of domestic demand and economic development, Taiwan's fishing vessels began to sail far away, even to three major oceans in the world, such as tuna perch seining, tuna long lining, squid jigging, stick out the Masari fishing, are mainly used for fishing. With the past catch performance, Taiwan's distant water fisheries have played an important role in the world. Through UN's Convention on the Law of the Sea and Fish Stocks Agreement, Taiwan has become a member of International Fishery Organization. The Distant Fisheries Act was promulgated in 2016 to follow the trend of international fishery management. We attend various international conferences every year and transform related regulations into domestic laws to fulfill our obligations as global citizens. Meanwhile, we have fishery corporations with nearly 20 coastal countries to ensure mutual benefits and bilateral friendship. Delicacies on our dining table aren't all from wild-caught fish, but more are farm fish easily attainable with good quality and favorable prices. Situated at subtropic and with innovative techniques, Taiwan is famed for its aquaculture. There are various kinds of aquaculture species, including freshwater fish like eel and tilapia, brackish water fish like sea bass, grouper, milkfish, and white leg shrimp, hard clams, oysters, marine cage culture fish like cobia, grouper, snub-nosed pompano, and etc. All of which can stably provide consumers with fine seafood. With limited land and water resources, and population aging. Taiwan is now promoting eco-friendly fish farming, facility-based, and innovative agriculture for further development, such as the farming of cold water fish and shellfish with innovative technology, as well as the promotion of marine cage farming. Smart technologies are introduced into aquaculture. Plans for nurturing young farmers are implemented to upgrade competitiveness in aquaculture. These are keys to continuous progress for the future. Cultivation and reproduction and less growth. This slogan means to reduce pressure of resources decline and the carbon footprint. 
As time advances, people are well fed nowadays. However, what matters is not about the price, but about eating well and eating safely. Since 2007, traceability system for agricultural products was implemented. All certified farmers must upload the status of their farming management. Consumers can get the detailed information of how the products are made by scanning the QR code. In 2016, the traceability system for seafood was introduced to enhance the responsibility of producers for self-management. Also, consumers can get the basic information of the producers just by scanning the QR code on the sea products. In addition, self-management system for fish farms is promoted to establish the quality control process and diseases prevention. So the farmers can produce excellent products complying to international standards. Recently, the agency continues to promote in fish markets the practice of keeping seafood off the ground and implement HESA, the food safety and management system, to better the working environment and to enhance sanitary safety. For building a good brand image of Taiwan's seafood and improving international competitiveness, Fishermen's Association has a long history. There are bridges between the government and the fishermen, stabilizing livelihood and inherent experiences in fishing villages. They even have community financial institutions to provide financial and insurance services for fishermen. In terms of economic and marketing development in fishing villages, they are very crucial. Taiwan has undergone gradual transformation in recent years, along with the impact of low birth rate, making migrant fishing crews a source of fishery workforce. The government ensures their rights and welfare by promoting policies and regulations, and build leisure centers at various locations to take care of their need of leisure and religion. Also in Taiwan, there are many coastal radio stations to provide rescue and contact their families in case of emergency. They can grasp first-hand information and report to the Coast Guard for help. When efforts have turned into catch, and all the hard work has been made, we should be more responsible of fishery management to assure sustainability of marine resources. To fight IUU fishing activities. We've established a 24-hour monitoring center, promoting electronic catch reporting system on vessels, and inspect fish landings at domestic and foreign ports, as well as fishermen's proactive catch declaration, which makes marine catch traceable. Meanwhile, fleet size reduction and onboard observer program are implemented to strengthen the fishery industrial structure. Fishery is an important industry. Many people earn their living by fishing. To ensure long-term fishery development, we continue the work of conservation and management of marine fishery resources and build an eco-friendly aquaculture industry, pursuing sustainable fisheries and harmony with nature. For future prospects, the government will keep sticking to its beliefs with firm steps and lead fishery to a better future with new horizon. To fulfill visions of a happy fisherman, safe fishery, and wealthy fishing villages. <laughs>